Hello, Water Signs. I'm Latrine Debbie with Power Life Hypnosis. This is your September 2019 Love and Romance Reading. As always, if these messages resonate with you, comment, share, thumbs up to like, and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. To book a private reading with me, visit my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. You can also book a reading through the description box below. If you would like to know about your future partner, when, where, how you meet your partner, and more, as well as a full reading, as to how to align yourself with your future partner and your ideal relationship, book a reading through the description box or at my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. And if you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can contact me at any time through the free Instant Go app. And that link is in the description box below as well. Send me a message. I will respond within 24 hours. We're going to go into Cancer first and then Scorpio and Pisces. The timestamps are in the description box below, so go ahead and check those out. Hi Cancers, let's get started on our reading here. So, it looks like during the fall, which is this upcoming month, September, we're going to be going through a transition period in our relationship. And it seems like this transition period is going to be going from a slow pace to moving forward in some way. Perhaps moving forward to commitment. We have here the cards of Together Forever as well as the card of Devotion. Together Forever. This love will continue always and forever. Devotion. This love anchors you together. Nothing can separate you. So it looks like during the month of September, you're dealing with a very significant relationship, a key relationship. This could even be a connection that is allowing you to clear or heal some kind of karmic debt or karmic lesson. Learn a karmic lesson in some way. So this is a significant connection here. And it looks like before in this connection, Cancers, you may have been moving again in a slow pace, coming together with this person in some way. Or you may have refrained from pushing the relationship or forcing the relationship, allowing it to unfold in its own way, in divine timing, in divine ways. Letting it come together on its own. There may have been a lot of thinking about the relationship or thinking about a relationship with this person or connection with this person. However, again, not forcing it. And it looks like during the month of September, Many of us are going to be moving forward toward a deeper level of commitment. Many of us may be taking the reins, so to speak, in this connection. Not waiting for our significant other, not waiting for this important person here, this key person here to make a move. We may be stepping up and dominating the direction of the connection, but not in an overbearing way or not in a negative way when I say dominating. I just mean, again, taking the reins to move this connection forward, taking responsibility for what we desire within this connection. So it looks like many of us may be going from the slow movement, moving forward toward, once again, a deeper commitment here. There may be a new level of growth in this connection. There may also be transformation, sudden progress, and change coming during the month of September. There may be an important conversation that is had or that needs to be had in which you may be revealing how you feel towards this person or revealing your desires toward this person or this person may be doing that with you because keep in mind this is a general reading so the energies or the events can be vice versa so i have here the cards of anchor so it's interesting how we have these two anchors here 
We have Anchor, the Heart, as well as the Fish. So taking these cards together, it looks like many of us are going to be settling down in a connection, in a romantic connection that may have been more loosely defined or an open relationship previously. So we're going to be stabilizing and securing this open relationship or this connection, this important connection here. Again, making it more stable, secure, anchoring this relationship, so to speak. Right? Coming together, forming a union, a solid union. And this may come through, again, sharing your emotions, sharing your desires here. Now, if you are not coming together and forming a union during this month, you may find yourself in a long-term commitment that is flowing forward smoothly. So that's wonderful. Moving forward in a positive direction. The great thing is we have this key card here. And the key card represents success, positive outcomes. If there's something that you want to propose to this person or pose to this person or offer, the answer is going to be yes. This is the key to your success as well. So the wonderful thing is, or another wonderful thing is, Cancers, there may also be some happy surprises coming during the month of September. Gifts, joy, romance, intimacy, deepening of bonds, strengthening of relationships moving forward towards a deeper level of intimacy and commitment. Triumph, success. So be optimistic and have confidence that everything is going to work out for you because everything will work out for you. We have a lot of very positive cards here. We have a lot of very positive cards here. We also have that heart card. So this is something to celebrate. Now another situation going on here, Cancers, is many of us may be connecting career and love in some way. And if you are connecting career and love, career in your relationship in some way, this is going to be successful as well. This is going to be successful and prosperous for you. So continue to flow forward down that path. So again, this is going to be a transitory period this is a time to be optimistic as there are many good things coming, moving forward towards a deeper commitment, Strengthen, strengthening the bond as well. And because we have these karmic lessons here, it may also be that this is a connection that is allowing us to clear and heal past issues from relationships, from past relationships. For example, issues with codependency or feelings of unlovability or anything like that. This is an opportunity to heal and move forward past that energy. 
So that is all very, very positive. Okay, let's go ahead and see what our guidance is. So I'm going to use my dowsing tools here in order to find out what our guidance is. So guides, high self, cancer, sun, moon, rising, September. We are being advised, Cancers, to be completely honest and open with ourselves regarding what it is that we desire as well as with our partners. To build relationship skills, listening, patience, the skill of negotiation, and confrontation with support. So again, taking the reins and standing up for what it is that we want, but in a loving way, not in a demanding way. Here it is, resolve and heal and clear past abuse, betrayal, abandonment, neglect, and if our trust was ever betrayed. So we are being advised, and I'm getting chills as I say that, we are being advised and we are being presented with the opportunity to resolve and heal and clear past issues from relationships. And this can be even family relationships, love relationships. Change our fears of not getting our needs met. So Cancer, change your fears of not getting your needs met because we can see here that your needs are likely going to be met during September. Be open and understanding about your dark side as well as your partner's dark side. Now I also have here a message of loss of desire, or erectile dysfunction, and this may be from emotional, mental, physical, hormonal issues, or even medication, okay? So if there's any kind of challenge going on in the bedroom, please keep that in mind, that it is not personal, that it is emotional, mental, physical, hormonal, or medication issues. Or you may be experiencing that, and if so, explain this to your partner. Now check your accountability levels. How accountable, how responsible are you regarding going after what it is that you want? Focus on the next right step when it comes to this relationship. Cancer, cancer, here it is. Eliminate codependence. Codependency, take care of yourself first. So this is an opportunity for us to heal issues with codependency. So we must work on that during this time. Also, communicate and share with your partner what you love, what you appreciate about them. And raise your self-esteem during this time as well. Focus on yourself once again, healing codependency, clearing codependency as well as raising your self-esteem, loving yourself first. So focus on your great qualities, love and accept yourself. So these are the messages that I have for you, Cancer. Thank you so much. If you would like to book a private reading with me, or if you would like to book, uh, book. if you would like to book a dowsing session, a private reading, go ahead and do so at my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. You can also book a reading through the description box below. Thumbs up and like this reading. If the messages resonate with you, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Much love and light to you. Bye for now. Hi Scorpios, let's get started on your reading here. So, it looks like during the month of September, I'm feeling that many of you may be at a distance from your romantic interests or your romantic partner or the person that you're dating. We do have here the message of yes, he will be back. Trust and know he will return. So there will be a reunion. There will be a reunion at some point. As divinely guided steps take you toward a successful outcome. Okay. So it looks like during the month of September, with this combination of the book, the heart, the lilies,
and the boat here. We also have the gentleman. It looks like there may be many of you women here watching this. Now please keep in mind this is a general reading so it can always be vice versa. Or you could be a male watching this and this is speaking of a female partner. Just take this as it resonates. So it looks like there's a female here who may be very emotional or even worried or experiencing anxiety or some sort of negative emotions here or feeling a little brokenhearted because there may be a fear that this isn't going to work out or that there's an ending here because it looks like many of you are at a distance from this person or this may be a long distance kind of situation or someone may be traveling or moving or again there may just be some kind of distance between you and this person and it looks like at some point there may be some silence or a lack of communication going on here but despite this many of you are wishing for a new level of growth in this connection you're wishing for a new level of growth in this situation you may even want to build a new relationship with this person or revive the relationship with this person but it looks like because of whatever's going on here because of this distance and there has to be distance here because there wouldn't be a reunion if you guys were actively together by the way this union card reads a reunion card reads second chances getting back together is possible now keep an open heart so keep an open heart don't close your heart or let fear overtake your thinking because again victory is possible here so how can you achieve victory in this situation it looks like this is possible through having patience and just waiting waiting it out having patience and just waiting it out it looks like your dreams are going to manifest your desires are going to manifest in this situation but it's important to remain calm have patience and things will progress for you here now it may be essential to move forward with your life at this time move forward in a direction towards self-love become more of your best self focus on what brings you joy what brings you happiness what makes you feel alive what makes you feel loved this is not a time to focus all your emotion and attention on this person or on this situation more so of a time to take care of the self and as you continue moving forward again there will be this victory and a sense of what you want manifesting so move forward move forward and just focus on yourself Some of you may be going through an ending of a connection. I'm not picking that up for most of you. I'm picking up more so a pause 
or a break here because again we have the cards of reunion we have the cards of he will be back trust and know he will return so let's see what guidance we have here let me get my dowsing tools let's see what we have all right so scorpio sun moon rising love and romance september 2019 so Scorpios, you're being guided to and advised to build relationship skills, listening, in particular, patience, negotiation, confrontation with support, Scorpios. Focus on raising your self-esteem. Focus on your great qualities, loving and accepting yourself. Also, you may want to replace old habits or patterns with new behaviors that have a bigger payoff. Replace old habits and patterns with new behaviors that have a bigger payoff. Be alert to deprivation, deprivation of touch, emotional or sensual intimacy. So be alert to if you're feeling deprived and find out how to give what it is that you need to yourself. This is also a good time to explore how to become a better lover as well. So this is a good time To be willing to get real and be honest with yourself about yourself, no matter how painful it is. As well as eliminate emotionally backed expectations. Your preferences promote happiness. So you may be expecting someone to behave a certain way, expecting someone to do something. And these expectations may be what is causing challenges in relationships. Because if we expect too much or if we have too high of expectations, it may be impossible for someone to meet all of these expectations, especially if we are expecting perfection or if we are expecting something according to what someone else says is appropriate. Express any pain or anger assertively, not hurtfully. Eliminate any codependency by taking care of yourself first, by going to Find that self-love. And loving yourself first makes you more romantically attractive. Also, some of you may need to check for addictions outside of the relationship. Check for addictions outside of the relationship as, as these addictions may be clouding your thinking or it can be the other person. But there may be an outside addiction clouding one's thinking as well. And work on your own personal growth, not your partner's. So now's the time to again, work on personal growth, work on yourself. And by doing so, taking these divinely guided steps, you will be victorious in your love and romantic relationships. Alrighty, my lovely Scorpios, these are the messages that I have for you for September love and relationships. Thumbs up, like this video if the messages resonate, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And to book a private reading with me, you can book a reading with me at my website, powerlifehypnosis.com under the readings page. You can also book a reading with me now through the description box below. If you would like to know about your future partner, you can also book that reading through the description box below much love and light to you and i'll see you guys soon all right pisces let's see what's going on with your love life this september so it looks like first off whoever you are involved with during the month of september there are 
tender feelings and fond feelings between you two. And whatever's happening here, whatever's going on is faded, is meant to happen as it unfolds. Fate is guiding and helping your love connection. Luck is with you. So fate is guiding you in this connection or in these events towards victory, towards a successful outcome. Victory, divinely guided steps take you toward a successful outcome. So you are going to feel divinely guided in a particular direction. It looks like for many of you, there's going to be a transition, a transition in a relationship or in this connection because there may be an ending coming up. But it looks like this ending or this separation is going to be for the better. And again, this ending, this cutting or clearing away of this relationship, this connection is going to bring about this transition so many of you are going to be leaving the past behind or leaving someone behind and bringing about a new beginning and a fresh start going in a new direction in your love life so you may be in a committed relationship with this person a long-standing relationship with this person, married to this person, or you may be doing the same thing over and over again with this person, going through some kind of cycles or even destructive cycles. Or there may be a cycle of a destructive behavior that may be affecting this connection. But it looks like what you want, Pisces, is peace and serenity and you want things to be easygoing. And you may become more aware of this or this may become clear to you at this time. You may have grown through this connection or grown to realize some things about yourself. However, you may be reaching the end of this learning cycle. And again, now you're wishing for, now you're hoping for, now you're wanting peace serenity and for things to be easy going so many of you are going to have a conversation here with this person about flying away so to speak leaving this relationship but you're bringing about positive change in this connection. You're bringing about positive changes even for yourself and overall, in the long run, the other person as well. There are going to be improvements coming to your love life through going in another direction, through separating. Because now, one or both of you can go on to learn new lessons. You may have felt like you were working very hard in this connection or as though you are willing to work hard to bring about what it is that you desire. Even if this means feeling alone are separating yourself from this person, freeing yourself from this relationship or from a destructive or challenging dynamic. Again, you're bringing about a fresh start. So it looks like there's the end to a learning phase once again, because you're gaining this wisdom or you've gained this wisdom. And now that you have it, you can step out of any cycles. So this conversation is going to bring positive improvements here, positive changes moving forward. Okay, so let's go ahead and see here 
what additional messages that we have. So I'm going to use my dowsing tools and let's see what we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, September, Love and Romance. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Love and Romance, September 2019. So you're being advised, Pisces, to check either your willingness levels or this person's willingness level regarding how willing you are to commit to this situation or how willing they are to commit to this situation or to put in time, effort, energy, attention, or communication. How willing are you and how willing is your partner to do these things. Again, to communicate, to commit, to give time, effort, energy, or attention. Now is also a time to resolve, to heal, and to clear the past. In particular, past abuse, betrayals, perceived abandonments or neglect or your trust being betrayed. Now it's time to resolve, heal, and clear those things. You may want to ask yourself during this time, can you be willing to move off of your position? Are you willing to look at things in a new way or in a different way in order to bring about a better outcome. Also, learn to separate the person from the problem. You can love the person, but work with the problem. It's okay to love that person because again, there are fond feelings between you and this person, you can care genuinely for this person and they may care for you as well. So it's essential to separate the issues from the problem. I'm sorry, the issues from the person. Again, check your, as well as your partner's accountability and responsibility levels within this connection. Okay. Okay, Pisces, sun, moon, rising. Eliminate emotionally backed expectations. Remember that your preferences promote happiness. So there may be excessive expectations that you may be holding on to, negatively affecting this situation. You'll be guided to eliminate those. As well as honor your own needs, strengths, weaknesses, and differences. Honor your own needs, your strengths, your weaknesses, and your differences with you and this person. This is a good time to work on your own personal growth as opposed to your partners. Now is not time, now is not the time to save somebody. Now is the time to allow the other person to save themselves, to stand up for themselves. And you do the same for you. Now let's see here. I'm also getting a message of find causes behind emotional or sexual infidelity be part of the solution. So some of you may have experienced some emotional or sexual infidelity in your connection. And it may be a good time to find the causes behind this. So be part of the solution. Don't focus on the problem, focus on the solution. And focus on appreciating what is. Focus on appreciating what is. Forgiveness may also be useful as well. And I'm being guided to go to this next chart here. So let's see these final messages for Pisces.
Know that you are fully capable of taking complete control of your life. And love and care for yourself first. So if something is not suited for you, if something is not making you happy, go in the direction of your happiness and your joy. Again, by leaving behind what is not serving you or what is not feeling good to you, you can attain this peace, this serenity, this joy, this happiness, and a fresh start in positive changes and improvements moving forward in your love life so again take the steps you are being guided to take in this situation even if it calls for putting some distance or separating yourself from a particular individual all right pisces so these are the messages that i have for you go ahead and thumbs up like this reading if the messages resonate comment share and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and to book a private reading with me go ahead and visit my website powerlifehypnosis.com you can also book a reading with me directly through the description box below if you would like insight into your future partner when where how you meet your partner what your partner will look like how to recognize your partner go ahead and book a future partner reading through the description box below or again on my website powerlifehypnosis.com i'm sending you all sending you all so much love and so much light Mwah. i love you guys and i look forward to seeing you here again soon all right bye for now